In this tutorial, we are going to see how to use Steinberg's Halion 4 as a multi-timbral instrument inside EigenD. So I'm using the experimental alpha strummer setup. And after I've loaded it, I'm selecting my audio interface. And now I can go to the Eigen browser to select the audio unit plugin or VST plugin that I want to use. So I'm loading Halion 4. And after it is loaded, I can close the Eigen browser. And by default, Halion starts up with this sound loaded and I click this little trash can icon to clear it out. So, what we're gonna do here is fill up this slot rack. And you can click on this icon here to show all the slots that are available. And you can see that all these slots are tied to a MIDI channel by default. So this is middle channel one, MIDI channel two, MIDI channel three, four, and five. And in this setup, this strummer setup, you can see that by going through the routing matrix and the global settings that the MIDI channel of this instrument is set up to be polyphonic and it's using MIDI channel one to five. So if I go back to Halion, we will be using the first five slots here to build a sound that has five independent parts, one for each MIDI channel. So I'm going to load a first instrument here, which is, where is it? The Studio Nylon Guitar, and I'm dragging it on the first slot. So as it, when it is loaded, you can see in the program panel here, a bunch of entries. One important entry here is the program bus entry, which has uh, three effects that have been assigned to this program. Now, since we're building a multi that uses that will use five programs, we actually want these effects to be at the master bus, the bus into which these five programs will be fed into. So you can go to the mixer tab and here click on the dependent buses icon. Let me see if I can see show the pop-up so depending buses. And the program bus is the bus that is uh, specific for this active program. And if I click on the arrow, you can see the same three effects. Now, if I go, if I go to the master bus, this is the bus that will be used by the whole multi that runs in Halion here. So I can just use this handle and drag it over to the effect slot in the master bus. So now it re it is removed from the program bus of this specific program and it will be available to all programs in the slot rack. Now let's go back to the edit tab and actually edit this particular sound. So I'm clicking here on Studio Nylon Guitar. Now first thing that we have to do is to make sure that this sound is set up with the correct pitch bend range. For that, we expand this section here and click on the zones tab. And you can see that there is a pitch entry here that is red. It means that everything that's below the nylon straight XXL entry here has a different pitch bend. There's some, some parts here have different pitch bends. So let's go through them. If you go, if you click on open position, you see that pitch bend is plus two and minus two. And if you click through, you can see that it's the same everywhere until you get to noises and then there is no pitch bend. So in this particular uh, instrument, we are going to select all those that have the same pitch bend and change this to plus 24 and minus 24 meaning that all these entries are able to pitch bend upwards uh, two octaves and downwards two octaves also. Now we're going back to the routing matrix, to the settings button and calibrate uh, Eigen D so that it knows that this particular instrument is capable of pitch bending with 24 semitones up and down. So now this particular program is configured to be used with uh, the strummer in this case. 
To fill up the other four racks here, I can right click on this program, copy it, then left click on an empty slot and paste the program in. So I can do this for the remaining three slots. And once that's done, our multi is finished. So you can now use the Eigenharp Alpha to actually play a nylon guitar. Mm -hmm.